Each size has its own unique UPC number. If you have an item that's available in various colors, each color will require its own unique UPC number. This also applies to different colors as well. Each variant requires its own code. Now you'll need to purchase UPC numbers that you own and use. Do not Google and purchase UPC codes from just anyone. These codes might not be valid. You need to use a reputable company. Walmart referred our shop to purchase numbers from speedybarcodes.com. Now you will need to decide how many codes you need. If you don't purchase enough, don't panic. You can go back and purchase more. And remember, these are tax deductible. Now you're approved and have your UPC numbers. You can now begin uploading your products. Now, if you're knowledgeable of this process, you might begin the integration on your own. But if you're unsure of the process or you're not comfortable, Walmart has a list of integration companies that they have approved to handle seller integration for their company. You can decide which one you would like to use. Our shop used Walmart integration by said commerce and we loved it. Now, once all of your items are uploaded and approved, you will receive an email from Walmart stating that you are now live on walmart.com. Start celebrating. Okay, the hardest part is done. After using your integration company, you will now be familiar with the process. Once this is done, you'll be able to add, delete, or adjust your products on your own. And that's it, you're all set up. You might want to announce to your customers that you're now on walmart.com. Enjoy!